Yo, okay. Uh, so, something annoying for some reason with uh, the app on PlayStation to record the audio commentary is, like, right now I'm watching the video, but I can't hear any of the actual sound effects or, or music or anything. So all I can hear is myself talking. <laughs> um, but I'll work with it. What I'll do is I'll just, I'll just kind of, like, add commentary and then stop and then um, add it in in different spots. But uh, I'll do my best. Okay, um, so this is a mission. I kind of started, uh, for whatever reason, didn't record the very, very start, like, but this is pretty much the start of the mission. Um, I think what I did is I joined a, a game that was already started. Okay, so this mission is, uh, if you look at the top right, <laughs> it, there's three different areas places we have to go to and to raise the flag of super earth um which is <laughs> literally literally what it's, it's like oh that was my dog uh literally you have to go to an area and and like you can raise the flag and that's kind of i guess we're kind of capturing the territory uh, so it's a little bit ridiculous uh all right and maybe i'll just explain kind of what's happening here so Okay, so with um, bugs, my preferred load, loadout is, remember at the, in the last video I was showing you how you can call down um, stratagems, which are like the, either the special, special weapons, oh man, I'm just like, just barely escaping these guys right now. So, okay, just as an aside, with, with bugs, the challenge, the challenge, okay, I just died. The challenge with bugs is they swarm you. There's like way more of them, and they just swarm you. They don't, and some of them can shoot uh, acid at you. Um, and then with the bots, they, pretty much all of them have guns. There's a couple of them that just like run at you with like chainsaws, but most of them can shoot you. So it's definitely a quantity thing with the bugs. So because of that, because they can't shoot back, so my preferred yeah, weapon against them is their meters. flamethrower. Um, and it's, it's fucking awesome. I usually get like two to three hundred kills in the game. Um, okay, so at the top left you can see there's some stuff that just appeared there. So that's those are my stratagems. Like I said, you've got there's four that you can pick from. So I usually pick, oh, I'm picking, so this is where I died last time and I'm just picking up my old weapons. I just picked my flamethrower. So usually what I pick for my loadout is the flamethrower and then I pick three different strikes. Um, usually two different, I've got, I know it's kind of quick, we're not at the left hand side. I've got an uh, Eagle 500 kilogram bomb, Eagle napalm strike, and I probably have a gas strike. Because I just find it... Some people will pick like one weapon to carry and then a backpack thing. So remember um, in the intro I was also showing like one of the back... There was like this thing you can get where... Um, it's like a, a drone that hovers and kind it kind of helps like automatically kill stuff that's around you. I used Come to back. use that, but then I just found it was, like, as I got better, I didn't need it as much. And it's better just to have these more powerful orbital strikes and stuff that you can just take out huge amounts of enemy, enemies all at once. <laughs> this is so sad, so I'm using the flamethrower. The thing is, oh, okay, there's a big guy. So one of my teammates is using an orbital laser to take out the um, that, that huge bug. It's called a, a bile titan. The way you get good at this game is all about positioning and and knowing and knowing how to move. So at first I would just try to kind of stand my ground and just kill everything, and then I would just you just die constantly. So you have to constantly be running away 
and trying to get into good position. So with bugs in particular, you want to, if you can get up the high ground and kind of, or, or kind of like channel them out into one area and then just flame throw them all or get them into one spot and then you, you use this, like an eagle strike, an orbital strike on them. That's the best way. Calling in orbital strike. You, you, with, the, with the bugs, you want to use cover a lot. So that, that thing that you're seeing, oh, like I just killed him. But, um, man, there's so many. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to throw napalm strike. I actually, I don't think I hit anything though. I, I thought there was more stuff back there, but yeah, it's just a wasted throw. Bug outpost. Requesting air support. On the bottom right, you can see some of my teammates. Also, so most people I think play on computer, and so they can quickly type messages, whereas me have to speak into the mic, and um, most people don't even communicate at all on the mic. Okay, and you see that little yellow skull that's appearing? That's basically a kill streak. So I, I find it appears that once you start getting about three kills in a row, so there I just got eight in a row. Sometimes I got the highest I think I've gotten up to is like forty. Definitely a very quick session. So this that thing right there is called a charger. It's really really strong. It's super annoying. But the flamethrower can take it out. There's, uh, there's very few weapons you can actually take it out. Flamethrower is one of them, but you have to be patient and you have to continually avoid. Requesting orbital okay, so what did I just throw down there? I just threw down an orbital gas strike. The, the gas strike is awesome because, and, and it's funny, empty. like no one uses it, but uh, I think because it sounds like it's weak because it just says it's a gas strike, people want to use bombs and stuff. But it, what it does is it, it, dam it damages over time everything in like this pretty big area. And also it's got the shortest cooldown time, it's only 75 seconds. So like every minute and 15 seconds I can just do another strike. I use it all the time and I get tons of kills because of it. So on top, so there's the um, on the top right. You can see there's those three main missions. Max empty. Shit, you know what I realized? Like, I must have it must have started recording kind of late into this mission because we didn't even we didn't even get to see me raise the flag or anything. Like the, the mission's almost over. But it's okay. I, I've re I recorded another bug mission. But I think in that other bug mission I died like crazy. <laughs> so, but I'll still, I'll still upload it. Oh, there. Okay, got him. So, I, I, they're really hard to avoid. You need to, you need to find cover or you need to run away properly from them. Those chargers. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Um, anyway, what I was saying was there's those, there's like the main mission. And then there's all these little side missions you can do. Usually with bugs, they're like taking out their nest, or there might be some kind of like a research station that you have to destroy. Or, uh... Calling in orbital strike. I just I just threw another gas strike, and you can see it. Look how many kill I just got. Holy crap, I just got 14 kills with that one gas strike. These guys will shoot after that. It's a vile titan. He's quite big and bigger than it was from there. Did I kill him? I, I don't even know if I got him or if that was someone else. I think that was me. Max empty. 
So the reinforcement, um, Found something. it's a team game, right? So on the top left you see it says 14 reinforcements. So overall, we have 14 deaths allowed for the for the team for the rest of this game. So once you die, you, as long as there's still a reinforcement budget left, you can request a reinforcement and someone else has to kind of enter it in for you. It's, it's basically just like another stratagem that they have to type in and it calls you down in, in the hell pod. Oh, <laughs> I totally did not hear this, you know, guys. But... So now, so I mean, we have done the three um, main mission, main things of raising the the flag. Oh, fuck! I wish you saw that because it's hilarious. It actually plays music. <laughs> this like really shitty national anthem kind of music, and the flag very slowly raises. It's just like the stupidest. Okay, but here, so when you're done, I think I mentioned this as well earlier. Um, you can throw. So you're done the mission, then we gotta get back to this landing pad area. And you call down the extraction. You're calling down, um, it's called the Pelican. It's like, it's just the shuttle. It takes you back up to the destroyer. And while you're waiting, you just get absolutely swarmed by all these bugs. And, and here, okay, so here's the exosuit. So right now it's a free stratagem slot, so everyone uses it at abstraction. It's fucking awesome. Watch how many kills I'm gonna get. Again. And you can step on the bugs too. The little one. You're pretty you're pretty strong in this thing too, so you can take a lot of damage. Kind of hard to aim though. They're stepping on them. ETA T minus one minute. Still another forty five seconds till the shuttle comes in. There's not more bugs attacking right now, actually. Oh, they're coming from the other side. Of the it's just chaos. <laughs> Okay, here comes the pelican, so I gotta get out of my extra suit and run into this thing. So it looks like we did pretty much 
everything. We might have missed a couple. I think we missed one little thing. And because it's on such a high difficulty, you get a bonus 50% of, uh, like, points. The samples, I don't know if I explained that before. Those are little collectibles you can get on, on, the, on the map, and they just let you upgrade your stratagems and weapons and whatnot. And obviously, it, um, in higher difficulties, there's more rare ones and, and higher quantity in, in overall. Okay, so where are we? I'm on the far left. Let's see my stats. 277 kills, second most kills. Kills don't really so necessarily matter. It's more about like completing the, um, the different the missions, but it's still pretty satisfying. I guess that's it for this game. Okay. Ready for another mission, Helldiver? <laughs>